Hi, this is Chris. And Kathy. What we have here today that we're picking is spruce tips or the new growth or buds that's coming out on the ends of the trees here. And we're going to make jelly out of it. What you want to do is pick the ones that are opened up already that don't have the little covering of the brown skin on them. But if you get a few of those, that's okay. You can just, uh, it comes right off. Just pull it off. And you can also make a really delicious tea with these. They have a nice mild citrusy flavor. Very high in vitamin C these are. That's right. So we're going to pick nine cups and when we get that done we'll go back to camp and make the jelly for you. Okay so we're back at camp. Uh, we got our nine cups of uh, spruce tips in here. Uh, to that I added seven and a half cups of water. Uh, I've got it up to a boil and then now I've simmered it for about an hour anyway. Um, you need three cups of juice and, to make a batch and that's why I added seven and a half cups of water to begin with because some is going to evaporate but I can do two batches of jelly with this and you're going to end up with uh, ten half pints of this stuff. So I need to get three cups of juice. I'll strain it through my cheesecloth. You probably really don't need the cheesecloth because them spruce tips probably won't go through the colander there that I got. But okay, there's my three cups of juice. I'm going to put the lid back on that so I can strain the rest later. You know what? It's not quite. Put a little bit more in there. There we go. Okay, so I'll pour that in my pan here. That was three cups of the juice. I'm going to add four tablespoons of lemon juice. Get it back on the fire here. Turn my heat up. And I'll add one package of sure gel to it. The taste of this stuff is just phenomenal. You would not believe it. A slight hint of uh, honey to it but a citrusy flavor. You, you wouldn't go wrong with this here stuff. This is just absolutely fantastic. So I'm going to bring this Sure Gel up to a rolling boil for one minute and uh, I will add my sugar then, which is four cups. Sven's going to help me here. And when I, when I add the sugar and I'll bring that back up to another boil for another minute and then we'll come back when that happens. Okay, so I added my sugar after the sure gel boiled for one minute. And now this has come to a rolling boil now for a minute. So I'm gonna bring it over here. I'm gonna pour it into this one. Makes for easier pouring into the jars. Love that color. Yeah. Almost looks like dandelion jelly. Kinda. But it it's, has a fantastic smell to it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Fill up our jars. Leaving about a quarter inch head space. Careful not to get it on the rims. You can see it's already thickening up as I'm pouring it there, so I didn't get none on there, but I always clean them anyway. Get my lids out here, I can move this back over onto the main burner. And I got my water bath there. You want to put them in the water bath for 10 minutes. So 
So we'll finish up these jars. Like I said, you, you should get five full half pints out of each batch. Uh, the other thing is, is the only way you're ever going to get to see how this tastes, you can see it's gelling, is if you get out there and pick these spruce tips yourself or you buy a jar from us at the farmers market we sell them for eight dollars a half pint beautiful it's starting to set up i got to work a little quicker here that's hot And you can see there I strained out the rest of the juice and we got another three cups out of it. So that worked out fine. Oh, it looks like we're going to have a little left over for our, ourselves. Oh darn. It's really starting to thicken up already on me. So there you have it. There you go. Five half pints in the water bath. I'm going to leave them in there for 10 minutes and that's going to be good. So uh, again, one package of sure gel, four tablespoons of lemon juice, four cups of sugar, nine cups of spruce tips, and uh, seven cups of seven and a half cups of water. There. And you should end up with 10 half pints. So there you go. Thanks for watching. I uh, hope you like it. Uh, share it with your friends. Uh, it's a great tasting recipe. You won't go wrong with it. Uh, if you're hunting, uh, hunting, fishing, trapping, gathering, mushrooms, whatever, anything outdoors like that, join us uh, on our uh, Facebook group uh, at All Things Wild. Look for the canoe at the top of the page. And thanks for watching. Bye.